Hello everyone, welcome to Tai'an Dongtai. We are professional manufacturer for diesel injection test bench and diesel engine parts. Today, we are going to introduce you one of our comprehensive test equipment, model number CR818. Now follow me to watch the system. This CR818 test bench can test the common rail injector, common rail injector part. It can test solenoid valve for frequency and pulse width, for the pressure, frequency, resistance, and inductance. Also can test AHE armature stroke. EUI, EOP, common rail pump, HP0 pump, common rail pump part, and HEUI. Now, move to the details for this machine. This is the power switch. Fuel pump oil, open and off button. Oil pump open and off button. Fuel heating switch. Oil heating switch and emergency stop. Let's move to the work area. This is our new model cam box connected on the work area. Pressure gauge. This is the oil pipe connection and cable connection. We have two kinds of ways to check the oil flow quantity. One is by mirroring tube. One is flow sensor use the computer. This test bench has two oil routine. You can check this is the diesel oil tank. This is the gasoline oil tank. Also, we have the plunger pump motor. This is the two filters for diesel oil. This is the filter for engine oil. This is the cooling system. This is the plunger pump. This is for putting in the diesel oil. This is to add the engine oil. The fuel pressure regulating and oil pressure regulating. This is the cable connection for this test bench. Frequency quarter. Main motor for this test bench. Control unit. We have three flow sensors of this test bench. Oil flow sensor, pump flow sensor, and injector flow sensor. Also, we have three motors. This is for oil supply motor. This is diesel supply motor. This is the cooling fan, filters, solenoid valve. Next, we'll show you how to test uh, UIUP. First, let's check the connection for the cam box. This is our new model cam box. You can see the connection. This is fuel supply oil pump. This is fuel return oil pump. This is double valve cable. This is for SCV and NCV. You can check the connection on this cable connection board. This one is for the flow sensor. Next, our engineer will show you how to test uh, uh, UIUP use Delphi E3 injector. First, choose the correct injector number on our system. Continue the test.
turn on the supply button. You can check all the test parameters on the screen. Watch the pressure on the pressure gauge. Start the test. This is the collectors and adapters for our new model cam box. Now the test is finished. You can check the test result on the screen. Also, you can test, check the test report here or print this test report by the printer. Next, we'll show you the function for test common rail pump and HP0 pump. Let's see the system. This is for test common rail pump. We can check test the common rail pump such as Bosch, Cummings, Delphi, Denso, Siemens. Also, we can test the HP0 pump. Next, we'll show you how to connect the HP0 pump. This is self-priming pump pipe. This is fuel return pipe. This is two high pressure oil pipe connected with the pump and the common reel. This is PCV1 cable, cable and PCV2 cable. This is HP0 hall signal cable connect with the sensor of the pump. This is for three pins. We also have magnetoelectric signal for two pins. Next, our engineer will show you how to test HP0 pump. Start the test.
the test is finished, you can check the test result, or you can print the test report use the printer. Now we'll show you the HEUI function for testing Caterpillar injector. First, please check the system. You can choose the injector number here for Caterpillar. Next, let's move to the connection of the HEUI stand. This two oil pipe is for diesel oil. Oil in and out. This two pipe is for engine oil, in and out. This HEUI stand is the standard stand for C7, C9, C9, 3126 b injector. We also have three another kind of HEUI standard. This one is the standard fixing stand. This is the HEUI injector fixing stand for 3412 or 3408 and Isuzu. This is the fixing stand for HEUI 3408 and Ford 06. This is the HEUI injector fixing stand for HEUI G2.9 and 3116. Next, our engineer will show you how to test Caterpillar injector. First, choose the correct injector number and continue the test. You can check all the test parameters. Start the test.
the test is finished, you can check the test parameters here. Also, the test report. You can print the test report by the printer. Now we will show you how to test Bosch CP3 common rail pump. First, choose the CR pump function on the system. Choose the correct in pump number. You can check all the test data on the screen. Now let's see the connection for the pump. This is fuel return oil pipe. This is fuel self-priming oil pipe. This is the ZME cable connect with the common rail pump. This is the high pressure oil pipe connect with the common rail and the common rail pump. Now let's start the test. The test is finished. You can check all the test results. Or you can print the test report. Use the printer. Now we'll show you how to test a common rail injector. First, please check the system. 
we can check, we can test common real injectors such as Bosch, Caterpillar, Cummings, Delphi, Denso, Siemens, Volvo. You can check the test data on the screen. Now let, let me show you the connection of the common rail injector. First, set up the common rail pump and connect the common rail injector on the injector stand. Connect the injector cable on the solenoid valve of injector. High pressure oil pipe connect with the common rail and the injector. Oil injection pipe connect with the flow sensor. We have two ways to check the oil flow quantity. One is by flow sensor. Another one is by the glass tube. Now we'll show you how to test common rail injector and check the oil flow by flow sensor. First, choose the correct injector number. Start the test.
now the test is finished, you can check the test data or test report on the system. Also, you can print the test report by the printer. Next, we'll show you how to check the oil flow quantity by measuring cup. First, choose the setting, change the measure oil mode to measuring cup. Save. Return to the work area. And uh, you need to change the oil pipe to the measuring cup. This two oil pipe is for measuring cup. And then start the test. You can check the oil flow quantity through the measuring cup. adjust the count. Check the oil quantity. The oil quantity has reached uh, between this period. You can stop this procedure. Okay. This number should be between this period.
Now the test is finished.